Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to get started with this video because I have been waiting about two months because I wanted the perfect amount of products to show you. And I think I even overdid it a little bit because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. So if you want to go grab some popcorn or a drink or something like that, you might need it. I went to Walmart, Ulta, I bought some things off Colourpop, and then Sephora. So this is going to be a high-end and a drugstore haul. And I have a lot more drugstore stuff than I do high-end, but I wanted to show you a little bit of both so you guys get an idea of maybe some things that you want to buy, whether you want to go to the drugstore or high-end. So I was going to break this down into two videos, but... I just decided to just make it into one video. It's gonna be 30 minutes long video, I already know, but it's gonna be awesome because I have a lot of new things that I wanna show you. I'm first gonna get started with some products that I put on my face today to make this makeup look. Just because I wanted to try out new products, it's not really a first impression or anything, but I just wanted to show you guys, maybe show you what a couple products look like. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the new Physicians Formula Insta Ready Face Primer. Like I said before, I used all the next couple products on my face. I'll let you know when I get more into the bags. That stuff I did not put on my face. I really liked this primer. It was a silicone, but it was a mattifying primer. I really liked it, and it's a pump. So I thought that was pretty cool. It has like a close and open so you don't like, it doesn't accidentally pump like in your drawer or whatever. Didn't mattify like right away, but after I let it dry a little bit, then I it became a little bit more matte. And I do have oily skin, so I really do appreciate those matte items. Then CoverGirl has been stepping up their game, I feel like, with foundations. And they, I believe, just came out with this one. I don't know. It's new to me. I've never seen it, but it's the CoverGirl Clean Matte Liquid Foundation, and it's in their old bottles, you know, their little triangle bottles. And I got it in the shade 520 Creamy Beige. It did pretty much mattify right away, and I really appreciate that because I have oily skin. But it says it won't clog pores, it's unscented, it's suitable for sensitive skin. Which I find funny because while I was applying this, it wasn't terrible, but I've had this like sensation on my skin like I've never had before with a foundation. It was like almost tingly in a couple spots. I don't know if that was just like the drying process for this foundation. I just wanted to let you guys know that's what I felt. Maybe my skin is just really weird. I still really liked it. I feel like it gave me a really natural look to my skin so I did like that foundation. To set my foundation I used the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Sheer Tint Finishing Powder and this is in the shade Fair Light. I loved this. I have not tried the Kat Von D blotting powder but a lot of people say that it's really good for like setting your foundation and stuff like that and it like completely gets rid of like pores and stuff like that. It's not supposed to but it does I've heard. I feel like this has the exact same effect. It is also not a blotting powder but I just seen my pores disappear like it was so amazing like this seriously covered it up. I mean I'm just like where my pores go like that seriously just made them disappear I love this I'm seriously gonna be using this now like every single day I love the packaging it's like Miri yeah go check this out if you kind of want you can obviously use it as like a blotting powder or finishing powder or it says even on the packaging you can use it by itself I don't know how full coverage it is maybe if you just want like just a sheer tint of coverage on your face this might be good but yeah I highly recommend this it just like completely made my pores disappear for bronzer today I used actually a free product that I got from Sephora it was my only new bronzer and it is the Too Faced Chocolate Olay in the shade medium deep matte bronzer 
I love this. It's a, it's just a little sample shy. So it's so cute. Like, look at that. It smells like chocolate. I love it. But this worked amazing. I love the undertone of it. It didn't make me look like Oompa Loompa-y. It just gave me a very tan look to my face. If you apply it slowly, it really didn't apply like that dark because it is like medium to deep. But I really didn't have a problem with it. I just applied a little bit at a time and blended it in and it was good to go. So I really liked that. For my blush, I'm pretty sure this is a new shade. I'm pretty sure I had all the shades until I found this one. And my Walmart just got Milanian. Like that's their brand new brand there. Does that make sense? Brand new brand. This is the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Blossom Time Rose Powder Blush. I love this. I have a little bit on my cheekbones today. I don't know how well you can tell, but this seriously just gave me a beautiful like pinky rose tone to my skin and I really liked it. I feel like I have a feeling I'm going to be using this color a lot just because it's such a nice springtime color. It's a little bit more pinky, corally color. I don't know. I just think I'm going to love this for the summer. It does not have this best smell, these blushes. They smell like, how do I put this nicely? Like an old scent. Not necessarily old person, but like what they use for a perfume, kind of. It's... It's not good smell. So the smell did linger a little bit, which kind of made me, but the color is so pretty that I, I'll just, I'll have to ignore the scent. <laughs> this is the new Milani Afterglow Luminizing Instant Glow Powder in the shade Strobe Light. And I love this. I love this. You can apply like a very subtle, highlight to your cheeks like it's not too pigmented to where it's just like BAM after one swipe. You kind of have to build this one up which I appreciate but once you build it up it's beautiful but it's also really beautiful if you just put like one swipe on and you just want that subtle highlight. This can do that. It looks really pigmented in the pan but it really does not come off that pigmented. Like I kind of had to pack it on a little bit to get an actual like BAM highlight. But I really did like this. I have another one in my bags here that I'll show you later, but I really did like this one. For mascara, I used the new L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, and I got it in Black is Black and Waterproof. I'm personally a fan of waterproof mascara. I know a lot of people aren't, but they do have non-waterproof mascara in this also so I'm not sure what to think of this yet I loved how it made my eyelashes look but the wand kind of threw me off I'm not used to using these big fat wands and the bristles are so small it was like really hard to get on my bottom lashes I made it work but it's to me it's mainly just like a top lashes mascara I think this is supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, especially since the packaging looks like it, kind of. But the wand also, I've heard, looks like it too. It kind of has fatter wand and smaller bristles and it kind of has a hourglass shape to it. I really liked how my lashes turned out. I don't know how well you can tell from here. They did make them pretty voluminous. I will say that. My Holy Grail favorite mascara is by Mary Kay, so it kind of has a lot to compete with to me. Because once you like pick your favorite mascara, you just like, every new mascara is like, mm, I don't know, does it beat it, does it not? It was pretty good for like my first time using it. The wand just kind of threw me off. For lipstick, I use the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Love Muffin, and it is a light pink nude. It has more light pink in it than nudie, but I really do like it. I didn't want something too bright to go with my shirt today, but I did want a light pink 
lipstick. So I thought this was absolutely perfect. I really like it. ColourPop has my favorite liquid lipsticks ever. These satin and matte are my favorite. I was debating whether or not to put ColourPop in this haul because I will be buying from them again shortly, but if you want me to do like another ColourPop haul, just the stuff that I'm going to be buying, let me know and I can do that for you. But the last thing that I used on my face was the Physician's Formula Setting Spray and I really, really liked this. It has such an awesome spray to it. It's one of those fine mists that just like go, you know what I'm talking about? Like watch. I don't want to get it on my camera lens, but that's what it looks like. I love it. It just went so nicely all over my face. It didn't like spit at me or anything. It was just a fine mist that covered my whole face. Eyeshadow. I've got. I wanted to add this to my haul even though I've been using it for the last like two months. So I know that's kind of cheating. But this was supposed to go in this haul. But I could not control myself and wait. But this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I already did a tutorial with this. Like that's how much I love it. I've been using it non-stop and this was actually the only palette I used while in my moving transition. You know, it works so well, they're so pigmented and they're so easy to blend. So that's why I have on my eyelids today and I absolutely love this palette. Gonna be going into my Ulta stuff now. Another product that technically shouldn't be in here because I used it in that tutorial with my Sweet Peach palette. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation. I wanted it for this haul, so I kept it in it. I'm like, screw it, they're going to see it again, even though I used it already. But it is such a good foundation. I love this when I'm going to go out all night. I put this on because, you know, when you're drinking and dancing, you want your foundation to stay. This is like cement. I highly recommend this if you want your foundation to last all day because it will. Plus I love the packaging. Like look how pretty that packaging is. I love it. Do not use too much because it will get cakey really fast. I found that out in my tutorial. One drop is seriously enough to cover your whole face. You think I'm over exaggerating and it's not. It's like one drop, that's it. Then I got the uh, Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter in Goddess of Faith. Their packaging is not my favorite because it's one of those Too Faced box and plus it like, it's like not glued all the way in there. It's cheap as packaging. The highlight inside is beautiful. Oh my god. I cannot wait to dive into this. It's also really bulky. I hate the packaging but you know. You gotta love it for what's on the inside, not on the outside. Next, I already dipped into this also, but I wanted to show it because it's just kind of a rebuy. It's the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation, and it's pressed powder. It's in the shade medium, and I already hit pan on it. I've been using it for like two months, and I love it. I use it by itself. I use it on top of a foundation just give me a little bit more coverage you can use this on top of BB cream CC creams to give you a little bit more coverage it's awesome like this is seriously such a great powder foundation I highly recommend it to everybody that I meet they're like what are you wearing for foundation I tell them this because it's so good next I have the Tarte high performance Amazonian clay highlighter in the shade stunner and I wasn't going to get it, but Kathleen Light said she really, really liked it. So I decided to get it. And it's freaking beautiful. I haven't used it yet, but you can see it. It's right there. Ignore this highlighter. That's the Revolution one. I feel like my light is not very good showing swatches of highlights. Just because I don't have a ring light behind me to show that intensity. Then this is such a big hype to everybody. This is the Tarte Shape Tape concealer. Everybody and their mama knows about this product. I also put it in my last tutorial but I had to throw it in here because it's new. It's awesome. I wanted to show you guys. I got it in the shade 
Fair Natural. And I love this concealer so much. I do not use concealer every single day like today I did not. But when I want full coverage underneath my eyes, this is the one I will go to. It is so amazing and I cannot thank Kathleen Lights enough for showing this to me or everyone on YouTube, but I got it because of her because this is her favorite. And last but not least from Ulta, I got the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And once again, everyone and their mom knows about this palette. It's just, I've never used it yet, but I'm really excited to dip into it. It just has beautiful neutral shades. It has some pops of colors in here. It has some more neutral colors. There's a blend of matte and like a satin finish in here. I won't say it's like glittery or anything. It's more satin, it looks like. But I am really excited to get into this palette. I've been waiting and waiting. I already used the Too Faced before I was supposed to, so I have to wait with this one. Next, I guess I'll go into ColourPop. I only got liquid lipsticks. It's so funny. I'm such a big fan of liquid lipsticks now. It's ridiculous. But this is Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Likely. This is like a peachy nude color. It's kind of hard to tell how nude it will be until you actually put it on your lips. But I feel like it will be a good blend between like peach and nude. Not like a straight nude or straight peach. But I feel like it's going to be a really pretty color and I'm excited to get into it. The next color I have is Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Naughty. And I already got into this and it's straight up nude. Okay, so I actually layered a different color on top of this because I wanted a nude color, but I wanted not pure nude. So if you want a pure nude liquid lipstick, I highly suggest the shade Naughty because it is, just like I said a thousand times, it's nude. Then this one is the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Strut. I'm pretty sure this is the liquid lipstick I put on top of Naughty. And it's like a more deeper mauve nude. At least that's what it looks like right here. I can't exactly tell you what color it looks like because I had a different color underneath. This is in the ultra matte lip in the shade The Twirl. And it looks like it's going to be a coral pink. I was debating whether to wear it or not with this. But if it wasn't this exact color, it's totally in clash. So I just decided to go with a different color, but it does look like a really fun summer color. Then I got the Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Chandelier. I was debating whether or not to wear this one today instead of Love Muffin, but it was slightly also too pink for me. I just wanted something really simple in pink, and this is a little bit a step above that. But it is a really pretty pink for spring also. I'm excited about that. Then I got a trio lipsticks and it's in the bundle Can You Not? Which is so funny. Okay, I did not buy this because of my inside joke, but me and my friend Tiffany, when we do something stupid or I don't know, say something offensive to one another, we always say, Can you not? Like, just jokingly, like it's sarcasm, like, Can you not? Can you not? And I say that to Matt once in a while, it's hilarious. But they're in the shade Notion, Hutch, and Suki. This one is in the shade Hutch, and it's Ultra Satin Lip. I believe these are all pretty dark. This is like... dark. I'm kind of scared to wear this one because I don't wear these dark ones that often. And if I do, it's more like in the fall and winter. This is like a very dark plum color. And it scares me a little bit, but I'm trying to get outside my comfort zone and expand my color collection. This is in Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Suki Cream. And it's almost the exact same color, but it's in a gloss formula. So if I want to start out with something a little bit more like not permanent on my lips, then I'll probably start with this glossy because it can wipe right off if I don't like it. Then I got... Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Notion. They're literally like almost all the same, just different finishes. 
that's it for ColourPop. Let's get into Sephora now. This is such a long video and I've, I'm like only halfway done. My timer on here says it's been like 28 minutes. So hopefully I can edit out some parts or narrow it down or something. I don't know. It's just, it's a long video and I apologize. Pause here and go get some popcorn. I wasn't lying, it's a long video. Then I got from Sephora the Urban Decay, I don't even know what they call this, Jean Michael, I don't know how to say that last name, but I'm sure you saw this packaging, it's kind of like freaky packaging to me. Sorry, I'm just not into that style, but I really like the colors that were inside. They're, this palette is a little bit more neutral, they do have like a yellow up here and a dark blue and it comes with a fancy brush too. I have used this one once and I was a pretty big fan of how the colors blended out really nicely. But before my camera died, I was saying I got the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow Powder Highlight in the shade Fair to Light. I think these are somewhat new as far as I know they are, but they look like the patching, 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 really? The packaging looks an awful lot like ambient light powders just because it has that like dome square look to it. It's kind of cool, but I really like this highlight. It's a more, I'm not going to say shade, I'm not going to say shimmer, but there is some in here, but it's not like too overpowering. Another Sephora bag. I got the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette. This is brand freaking new and I was so excited to get my hands on this. Oh, when I saw they were coming out with a new Naked Heat Palette, I'm like, I'm buying that. I'm getting that. I even told my supervisor at work, I'm like, when that comes out, I'm buying it. So I found it out of Sephora. I'm so glad they were not out because I was like, my luck, by the time I get to this palette, it will be out of stock. But it wasn't. They actually had quite a few in stock, so I was pretty glad about that. But I like their packaging for this, even though it's really... It's kind of complicated. Like, look at this. Got to slide it out, and then it has a bottom piece to it. And then it's the palette. So it's kind of funky, but I am so excited! to get into this palette. Ah, I'm so excited. Like, you have no idea. I'm like, yes, they have the palette. Like, I was jumping up and down in the store. Matt's like, calm down. I embarrass him at makeup stores, apparently. But they just have the most beautiful, warm shades in here. And I'm so excited to get my hands in this. I wish I would have used it today, but I didn't. I but I will do a tutorial over this once I figure out a look that I love with it. And then I got the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer. Why does it need to be such a long title? And this is a really expensive primer. Like, really? Is it worth like $50? I don't know. But Kathleen Lyons said that it was really awesome primer and everyone should get it if they can. So I guess we will find out. It has like a pump, so that's really nice. I thought it was like a twist off, so I was trying to like twist off the lid. It says it's minimize the look of pores, absorbs oil, and mattifies shine. Well, I have really oily skin, so this described me perfectly, so I'm like, bite the bullet and get it because I'm looking for my perfect primer and so I just decided to buy it. But I got the Dior Skin Air Flash in the shade 205. I have used this before. My mom and my sister actually got me into this. I thought it was ridiculous that you spend 60 bucks on spray paint. That's what it reminds me of. You gotta shake it and then you spray spray it on. Actually, no. The way I use this, I spray it onto like a beauty blender and then I pet it into my skin because you don't want to spray it all over your face. I feel like that's a waste. It's going to get in your hair, on your lips, in your eyebrows. Do not do that. Please spray it like on a beauty blender or some kind of sponge and then pat it into your skin. But it is seriously one of my favorite foundations ever. I've never used it on my channel because I've been out for a while. 
but my mom gave me like half of a can for me to try out again because I'm like I don't know if I want to buy it it's just so expensive and she's like you need to retry it you know you like it so I took half of her bottle and I'm like dang it I have to buy it now it's so amazing like if you're a bride I would highly recommend this it makes you look like you have doll skin so pretty it makes you just have the most beautiful finish now let's get into my walmart bags they're big bags i told you it's a long video it's a long haul but i wanted to give you guys like a lot of options of different products so i decided to just do one big haul and call it good so i got some things from walmart <laughs> and this is the covergirl outlast all day stay fabulous you have no idea how excited I was to see this in Walmart, so I bought it right away. And then I got another CoverGirl Outlast concealer because I love it so much. And this is in the shade Fair because I'll be using it underneath my eyes. And this is in the shade Buff Beige. It might be a little too dark for me, so I'll just add some white foundation to it. But that's like the only shade they had. Then I got some more deodorant. This is in the scent Fresh Orchid. In case you wanted to know, I get Secret Brands Clear Gel, and I actually put like one of those in every single one of my cars, and then I keep one at home just for backup. And then this is really new. I have to say this is new, right? This is the Real Techniques Miracle Cleansing Sponge. I was so intrigued by what it looked like looks like a sponge like there's a whole bunch of holes in it it looks so weird that's what caught my attention i'm like what's wrong with that beauty blender and then i'm like oh it's to cleanse and exfoliate so it says wet and use with your favorite cleanser rinse and dry after each use and then replace every one to three months and it's latex free so i'm like that's really cool i hate washing my face like I have all this skincare stuff I hate washing my face it's just like such a chore for me to do at night so I'm like this may make it a little bit more easy and simple for me if I can just put some like cleanser on here scrub it into my skin wash it be done I feel like that will make it more fun for me to cleanse my face <laughs> then I got the Tresme fresh start Volumizing Dry Shampoo. This is specifically for fine and oily hair. They have one just like this, but it's for like dry damaged hair, I believe. But obviously I have oily skin. I have crazy oily hair. It really sucks because lately I've been having to wash my hair every single day and that's not very good when you have like color treated hair because it washes out the color like uber fast. So I decided to get something specifically for oily hair. So I'm really excited to use this dry shampoo. And then I just like picking up hair products. Doesn't mean I always use them, but I just like picking them up because someday I might use it. Do you guys have that problem? I have that problem. This is a Garnier Whole Blends 5-in-1 Lightweight Spray. It's a leave-in spray. It primes, softens, detangles, protects, and conditions. So I thought it was pretty cool because sometimes my hair gets really tingly after I take a shower and I like how it protects so it like protects from heat and I straighten my hair all the time without a heat protectant. It's horrible but I just I forget. I get in such a rush and I forget. So I feel like this is awesome that it's a 5-in-1 so my hair is completely, completely protected. Then I picked up a new e.l.f. brush. At least it's new to me. It's probably been around forever, but I decided to finally pick it up. It's the e.l.f. Blurring Brush, and I wanted it specifically for blending out concealer. That's mainly what I bought it for, and I feel like with this, it kind of has a slight dome shape at the top, so I feel like that will really get up close to my eyes and just blend it all out. Plus, it's like uber soft. I love these e.l.f. brushes in the black packaging. They're like six dollars and they feel so high-end. I love these that brand. Then I saw this Swisper. That's the brand Swisper. They make like cotton rounds and q-tips and stuff like that. 
They have this instant brush cleaner. It quickly erase makeup color from cosmetic brushes. And I know that someone in high end has this. It's like either a beauty blender has this or Sephora, I think. One of those, I'm pretty sure, has this exact same thing, but this is like so much cheaper. So I was really excited about this because I'm horrible at switching out brushes when I am putting on eye makeup. I'll just dab my eye brush into this color, dab it onto this one. Yes, it doesn't make a huge effect, but I'm sure my eye makeup would turn out a little bit different if I would use either different brushes or cleaned it first and then dipped it into another color. So I'm really bad about that. That's why I picked this up because it looks so simple. It has that rough sponge in it like the high-end one does. So I'm like, oh my god, it's like eight, five, eight dollars and I had to pick it up. Okay, I've been really trying to get more into masks. I don't know why. I feel like, well, in general, I'm trying to get into skincare, even though I hate washing my face. But I know that if you don't take care of your skin, then you're going to have crappy skin in the future. So I decided to pick up four, actually three for me, one for Matt. You can do masks with me. But I got three for me, and it's the peel-off mask. I like peel-off rather than wash-off because... I feel like washing my face gets my hair wet and it goes, water goes all over the sink counter and it's a mess for me. It's seriously like one of my pet peeves, I don't know. So I got three peel off masks. I got Renewing Cucumber Peel Off Gel Mask. It instantly refreshes and clarifies for rejuvenated skin. And then I got Brightening green tea and orange blossom peel off mask. It instantly refined pores and helps improve dark spots for radiant skin. And then I got revitalizing pomegranate peel off gel mask. It instantly purifies and refines pores for youthful skin. The one I got for matte, it is just for men. It's pore clearing peel off mask. It's with volcanic ash. It deep cleans, clears, refines, and tones pores. So, I think he'll like to use that. I got another mask then that kind of intrigued me. It's the Enlight Super Face Liquid Acids Detoxifying Platinum Peel-Off Mask. If it's peel-off mask, I will try it. But I've never used it and I'm really excited to. This mask helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and improve skin luminosity while it strips away dead skin cells and appears to reveal immediate and visible results. Trust us, it's a sure thing. That's what it says. So I'm really excited about trying that. Then this heavy object in this bag. It is Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath. It's Super Moisturizer Avocado Oil. It deeply and instantly hydrates skin. Long lasting bubbles gently cleanse. I have never ever in my life had a bubble bath ever call me crazy but I did not I always take showers but you know something just made me want to take a bubble bath one day so I decided to pick this up because now I finally have shower slash bath so I'm just like hmm I can use my bath now in this new house so I will let you know how I feel about this I know Dr. Teal is supposed to be a really good brand so that's why I picked it up this is random and I already have it put into my uh, makeup collection over there. This is the beauty tray and it has like... Then I got the L'Oreal Sun Lime Bronze Self Tanning Towelettes in the shade Medium. It's supposed to be streak free, quick and convenient and 100% natural looking tan. There's six used towelettes which is pretty insane considering this thing was like $10. Really expensive for some towels, but I'm not sure what to think of them. I used two of the towels already, and I don't know if I use them like too close together in time, like one day after the other. Maybe you're supposed to like separate them a little bit, like use one, and then two days later use another one. But I used them like two days in a row, and it kind of made me look a little orange and my palms were like all orange and weird and stuff like that so I'm not sure what to think about them yet but I'll let you know in the future because it's summer and I need to start my tan on. This is a repurchase because this is my holy grail favorite moisturizer ever and it's like three dollars and it's a double pack for three dollars. It's the Fruit of the Earth 
Vitamin E skincare cream. It moisturizes, soothes, and protects for softer looking skin. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this product on my channel like a hundred times, but seriously, two huge tubes for like three to five dollars. Do you want to save some money on some good moisturizer? It's right here because I highly recommend that moisturizer to anybody. And it's so dirt cheap that like, why would you pass it up? Why? Do not judge a product on its price tag. Like I said before, I got a second Milani highlight because I'm obsessed with highlights. This is in the shade, okay, this is in the shade Afterglow. I thought it was in the shade Strobe Light, but it is not. It's in the shade Afterglow. And then this one that I did not use today is in the shade Day Glow. So I'm really excited to use this one. It looks just like this one, but a tad more deeper. I don't know how well you can tell, but this one looks a little bit more white and this one looks a little bit more natural. Yeah, I really like this one so far, so I'll have to let you know in the future of what I think in this one or use it in a tutorial or something. But so far, so good with that highlight. Then I got the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara. It is waterproof. This is a repurchase of mine because I use it every single summer on the river just to give my eyelashes a little something something because I have no makeup on other than waterproof mascara. I just feel naked if I do not have mascara on. It drives me up a wall if I don't have mascara on. So I got waterproof. I don't know if they changed the formula on this or what because it is not the same as it is. It is not the same as it was last year. Like this, I had to pack on so much mascara to even get it to look like I had mascara on. It's crazy. Like, what did you do to the formula of this Maybelline? It's not the same. Unless I got a complete dud, but I don't know. I'm not impressed with it anymore. It used to be in my favorites mascara, and now it's just like, eh. This is a repurchase. I use this like every single day when I'm not straightening my hair. It's the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Scrunching Gel. I love this. It's the only thing I scrunch my hair with. And I don't know if you know what scrunching is, but I'll try and find a picture of me with scrunched hair. It's kind of like a wet curl almost. That's how I can describe it right now. But I love this brand. I love this product. <sighs> So much products, I tell you what, I'm such a makeupaholic. Makeupaholic? You ever say that before? This is the Milani Face Powder in the shade Light Tan. It's the Multitasker Face Powder. It's setting, finishing, and blotting. All three in one, that's awesome. And I think I used this because the top looks a little rough, but I don't remember how it worked, so I'll have to let you know in the future, but this is in the shade light tan if I didn't say that already so yeah I'll let you know what I think of this powder I don't remember what it looks like at all I got another peel off mask haha <laughs> shocker it's the cucumber cooling peel off facial mask it clarifies and refreshes skin is for normal to combination skin I have a am I the only one on the planet that has oily skin I have a heck of a time trying to find a mask for oily skin, like specifically for oily skin. So if you know of any peel off mask specifically for oily skin, please list it down below because I would love to check it out. Doesn't matter on the price tag, I just want a really good peel off mask for my skin. Are you guys getting tired of me yet? I'm almost done, I promise. <laughs> this is the new Real Techniques powder brush. Actually it's probably not new at all, but it's new to me. But I wanted another big fluffy brush specifically for powder because the powder brush that I have now it's dense and compact and yes it does put it like the powder on like really thick and stuff but I wanted just one that puts it on a little bit more lighter. I'm not exactly sure why because I like to pack on the powder a lot because of my oily skin but I just wanted to try it with maybe a little bit more less dense brush a little bit more fluffy brush so I decided to pick up the powder brush by Real Techniques and it looks really promising so yeah I'm sure you'll see me use it in a couple tutorials. Then Maybelline came out with their own highlight and I think they came out with two different kinds. There's like a rainbow one and then this one. I'm sorry I have no interest in looking like a unicorn. I know that's like the top thing right now 
but I am gonna stick to my neutrals and I don't know more normal things I'm sorry if you guys like if you personally like unicorn stuff but I'm not into it it's just not my thing but if you are go check out that highlight it has several different bright colors in that one highlight but this is a Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like this is getting me really, really gold. I'm going to have to be a little bit more tan to use this, I feel like, because damn, this is gold. Like, there's no hint of any other color besides gold. Let's see. Yeah, the last thing in my bag is from Hard Candy. And this is the Glamouflage Mix and Drops Turn Me Matte. So add a drop to transform to matte finish. But it says matte mix and drops a liquid mattifier that can be added to your moisturizer or foundation to leave a matte finish on skin. Reduce pores and control oil for all day wear. I'm actually pretty excited about this just because I try my best to stay matte all day. So if this seriously helps, I will 100% love this product. I might get a lot of use out of this. I'm really excited about that last product. But, oh my god, did you guys make it through this video with me? I really hope so. I just wanted to do one big haul for you guys, high and low end. I just wanted to show you guys everything, all in one video. So I hope you really enjoyed my huge haul. And if you guys have any more products that you think I should try out or look, look at or review or anything like that, please list it down below and I'll check it out. Hopefully you guys are still with me after like half hour later, but I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.